and welcome to the world of recipes. I'm Vaishali and today I'll be showing you how to make kachoris. Kachoris are Indian snack time delicacies that all Indians love. It can be made with different stuffings. Today I'll be showing you how to make kachoris with moong dal stuffing and inside. It needs a few ingredients but it tastes delicious. So let's get started. Let's see the ingredients. For making kachori covering, we need maida or all-purpose flour, 2 cups, clarified butter or ghee as per requirement, it is about 2 to 3 tablespoons, salt to taste and water for kneading the dough. For kachori stuffing, we need washed moong dal, 1 cup. One big onion, finely chopped. Three to four green chilies. Ginger garlic paste, two teaspoons. Red chilli powder, two teaspoons. Turmeric powder, one teaspoon. Salt, two teaspoons. Cumin powder, two teaspoons. And this is hing or asafoetida. It's just a pinch of hing. And oil for making stuffing. This is about 4 tablespoons and lemon to squeeze on the stuffing. We need to soak this moong dal in water for about 4 to 5 hours. I have already soaked it. Uh, I have soaked it overnight and now you can see it is almost double the size of moong dal. Now I am going to drain out all this excess water and grind this moong dal in a mixture. Now after grinding our dal looks like this. We have roughly ground it. Don't need to make a fine paste. Now let's start making stuffing. Pan is heating. Add oil to it. We are using 3 to 4 tablespoons of oil here because our moong dal is going to cook in the oil itself. So we need more oil here. Once the oil is hot, put onions into it. And cut the onion till it becomes translucent. I have chopped these onions in a food processor, so they are very finely chopped. We have used one big onion here. It is going to give nice taste for the stuffing. Now these onions are translucent. We will add as fertile here. Pink. And immediately we will add this ginger garlic paste. Cook this for a minute. So this onion and ginger garlic paste should be just a light brown color. I found this uh, chilies in my mortar. Till our onion is cooking, we are pounding this green chilies here. And these chilies are ready. Now these onions are ready. Now we'll add this green chilies. With this green chilies, the stuffing will become spicy. So we need to balance the spiciness of this uh, stuffing where while you are using red chilies. Put this green. 
again to it for a minute. And then we can add our dry masalas. It's red chili powder. If you don't want to use red chili powder, only green chilies will also do. Cumin powder. Turmeric powder. And salt. Just mix it well and immediately add this moong dal. Mix it well. And we have to cook this moong dal till it becomes like golden moon color. It will take time. Slowly, slowly it will start drying up. I have already started getting aroma of Munda here. Now as you can see, the Munda has turned little brown and it is, all the water has dried up. Now at this time, we will squeeze on in the lemon. This lemon juice will give tiny taste to the stuffing. Mix it well. Our stuff can store this stuffing in a refrigerator for about a week. It will stay fresh and freshly make kachuris and just fry them. Our stuffing is ready. Let's start preparing a dough for kachuri now. This is maida. It's two cups. And I have clarified butters. I'm going to add this clarified butter to this maida. It is going to give crispy covering. We need about two to three tablespoons of clarified butter. In place of this clarified butter, you can use oil as well. But when you are using oil, you need to make it hot and then add it to the maida. Mix this ghee well with the maida so that we don't have any lumps in this flour. Now almost all the granules of maida are covered with ghee. Now I will add some salt to it. I am adding about one and a half teaspoon of salt here. Now we will add water little by little and we will make a dough. This dough will be little hard like tough dough. It shouldn't be loose. Now this dough is ready. Keep it resting for about 10 minutes. This dough is resting for 10 minutes now. And our filling is also ready. Let's start making kajuris now. Take a ball of dough. It's of around gold ball size. Now we press this ball in the middle like this. To make it as a bowl shape. For holding filling inside. Make it nice and deep and just press it all around to make this covering equally thin on all the sides. When we are making kachoris, the kachori covering will be thick only but it should be even from all the sides. 
Now this bowl is ready. Now I will take around two spoonful of filling. Just press it inside. And start folding these edges. Press this and start folding these outside edges inside. And try to stick them together. It's like a modak what we make. Now press them inside properly. As we have made this ball initially, we have to keep this ball shape for the kachori also. So that when we fry, the oil will go in this part and it will cook well. And make sure to apply some water to the sealed edges so that it seals well and the oil will not go inside while frying. So this one kachori is ready. I will make some more. All these kachoris are ready. If you want to keep these kachoris filled like this, just cover it with a damp cloth and then you can fry it after half an hour. And I am going to fry it immediately. So let's go for frying. The oil is hot now. Check it by putting a little piece of dough. It's coming up easily. That means the oil is ready. Now you have to lower the gas flame because we need to cook these kachoris on a medium flame because the covering of these kachoris is thick and it should be cooked evenly from all the sides. Just check the kachoris before putting it in the oil. Make sure there are no cracks. If you have a bigger pan, you can fry 2-3 kachoris at a time as well. Now this kachori is nice and brown. We will take it out, drain the oil well and I will fry the rest of the kachoris in the same manner. These kachoris are ready now. You can serve it with uh, tamarind chutney, or pudina chutney, uh, hot chutney, or any kind of chutney, and even ketchup also. I like to serve it with fried chilies. So I'm going to fry a few chilies. These are six chilies. I just made a slit in between. And we'll do fry them. are fried well now. This goes very well with these kachuris. You don't need anything else. Thanks for watching this recipe. I hope you liked it. Please click the like button and for more recipes please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.